Hello, my name is Gus Bloom, and my wife Ashley and Alexander and I are all really, really happy to call First Presbyterian Church our family in Sumter. You know, we first arrived in Sumter in 2010 with Third Army. This was uh, another Army assignment for us. We typically go to church with, uh, with the post for us, the base, if you will. And so coming to a church that was off the installation was something new to us, and we were invited by several folks at Wilson Hall to come and visit First Presbyterian Church, and I would tell you that from the, the first time we set foot into this sanctuary and that we had an opportunity to greet folks, uh, we felt very much like family, and I would tell you that with no other connections to Sumter, First Presbyterian Church is our family here in Sumter. I would tell you that we had wonderful, wonderful opportunities here with the church and with our church family. During our first four years, I was deployed for literally three years of those four years, and, uh, and I couldn't have asked for more wonderful people to take care of Ashley and Alexander, to watch over them and, and really make them feel like family. We had uh, an interesting experience. I think it was in 2011, over Christmas, I was deployed, but uh, my, my boss, I'll say, my commander had said that I might be able to make it home for Christmas. And so I called Ashley, let her know that uh, I was gonna try to make it home in time for Christmas, but that I couldn't control the flights. And so we decided not to tell Alexander, just in case. Well, I made it, I made it back just in time for Christmas Eve, and I walked in right before the kids started the nativity production. Uh, and that was a really emotional event for uh, a lot of folks. Um, and and I, I really appreciated seeing the way that uh, our church family treated that. And they probably made an even bigger deal about it than, than I might have. Um, but that's just one example of the many ways that, that uh, this church has made us feel very much like family. I'd also highlight that uh, we, we've spent a, a good amount of time on local and foreign missions. That's a, that's a calling for us, if you will. Um, I'm a native Spanish speaker, and so right off the bat, shortly after we joined, uh, Mark Durrett, who was the pastor at the time, and Angie came and joined us to, uh, actually, they visited our house within two days of that Sunday that we were here uh, and made us really feel not only uh, appreciated and welcome, but wanted. Uh, and and it, I guess it paid off uh, because we, we came here. But there was, shortly after we joined, a trip to Peru, and, uh, and Mark Durrett asked that Ashley and I join him, and Angie, and at the time, Bonnie Disney, and that uh, we go down and do what would be a pastor training session, or sort of an informal layman pastor training session. And so I got to spend some wonderful time with Mark Durrett, um, just learning the Bible from the covenant with Abraham on to Jesus um, and, and doing it in a way that I would be able to translate it to Spanish and then spending several wonderful, wonderful days with that group. And that really, really reinforced the value of mission work, especially foreign mission work at this church and the, the wonderful tradition that First Presbyterian Church has with foreign missions. Um, we've also had the opportunity to go to Costa Rica and there we had really a wonderful, wonderful opportunity to, um, to build a, a family with our sister church in Costa Rica, with Vida Nueva, uh, and to, to build a, a legitimate partnership, a sister church, uh, codified and everything written down. Um, we had lawyers and all kinds of other folks who were on the mission team sitting down and putting together a charter for how we would work together. And that has been a relationship that we have maintained going back to 2011 and watching that church not only do well, but to grow, uh, to grow from what was a relatively small church to uh, a church that's about two, three times the size of what it was when we first went there in 2011, and now a network of five, six churches around Costa Rica doing, doing uh, God's work all over Costa Rica and uh, and even after we weren't able to go for a few years between uh, an assignment to Germany and then 
COVID, I would tell you that we were welcomed back by that church. This, this mission team was welcomed back by that church as if we were family, sort of like when you haven't seen family in a long time and you come walking in through the door at Thanksgiving or something and it feels like it hasn't been a day. Uh, that, that's what that felt like. Um, and, and that really was uh, special for all of us, um, just that experience with Costa Rica. The chances that we have had here in Sumter, whether it was through Sumter United Ministries, through Operation Christmas Child, through um, Angel Tree, through Backpack Blessings, there's so, so many opportunities that we have had to, uh, to contribute to the community, but more so to, to get back. Because I think most people who do some kind of service work, especially if it's in God's name, um, we all, I think, feel like you got more that you put into it. And that's certainly the case with us. And so it's, it's been a pleasure doing all the kinds of things that we've had a chance to do thanks to First Presbyterian Church and the chance to be a part of our First Presbyterian family.